The Indiana Fever is a proud franchise with rich basketball history. Final seconds off the clock, and Indiana has won the WNBA championship. A team that set a standard for routinely making the playoffs has won at the highest level and been a home for legends of the game. However, on-court success has been difficult to find the past few seasons. Trying to get wins this year, I mean, just six in 25. It's been a tough season for them. Indiana Fever, six or seven players unavailable on this roster because of injury. Yeah, this team is beyond depleted. With a talent-loaded WNBA draft just around the corner, the Fever are looking to rebuild the franchise with seven new players, including picks two, four, six, and 10 in the first round. Former Indiana Fever head coach and Hall of Famer Lynn Dunn has taken on a new role as general manager. She's hard at work building a winning roster. The opportunity to come back when Rick reached out to me, I just, I couldn't say no. This is definitely a historic draft, not only for the Fever, but in the history of the WNBA, no one has ever had four picks in the first round to get immediate help with two, four, six, and 10, and they all have the potential to make your team but it's challenging. You know, the way you acquire talent is through the draft or through a trade. And trust me when I tell you that teams do not want to trade their top talent. So you get top talent other than trade via the draft. And this year happens to be a, a very good draft. WNBA coaches and GMs think this is probably the best draft since 2018 maybe. Um, as far as some great top picks and then some depth on down the line. I think there's 15 players um, that, that can make a team. And so when we made the decision to make a trade so that we could acquire more picks, um, it was a calculated decision to build for the future and to uh, build from the ground up with players that we think uh, will help us play exciting winning basketball. It's very important that you have a staff that knows how to evaluate talent. And so everybody in the room that I'm listening to is the general manager, they better know their stuff. And so I think now we're creating this identity, okay, we're gonna be more up-tempo, we're gonna move the ball, we're gonna space the floor, we're gonna create driving lanes, we're gonna knock down threes, we're gonna defend and we're gonna rebound. This is who we are. Yep. Find what you mean by a versatile floor. That can play make. Um, bring the ball up the floor, get it off the board, make decisions. Especially one that can stretch the floor, it's the sec a second point guard. Well, first and foremost, you know, you want people that can compete at this level. I watched your practices last year. There weren't there were not enough competitors out there. We need people that cannot stand to lose. We need people that are relentless in their desire to be the best, to win. You're going to be between 30-38. Okay. So she's in that middle somewhere, and it needs to be better, okay. You know, the college game and the pro game are different in that everybody that you see at our level is a really outstanding player. I've never, I don't, I've never seen Inksler take a break. Because Inksler doesn't run uphill going to defense. The court is even. I think what you try to do is get people who fit the competitive style that you want and people who uh, no matter what team they could end up on, will be players that can be successful. Talking about, I'm anxious let's to talk take her at t -shirt. And at the end of the day, we're not going to all agree. And that's good. Every so often when we're all on the same one, I'm like, well, wait a minute. And I am constantly listening to their thoughts, uh, what they think. But then at the end of the day, I have to make the decision. It's not a democracy. <laughs> Whoever gets the most votes, um, may not be the one we pick. That's my job. So much of the story tonight with this draft class. For the first time ever, four first round picks by one team in the WNBA draft. What excites me about this class is that there are a bunch of game changers, players that can come in and really be a star in their role. For Indiana, uh, a chance to change things tonight. Yeah, and, and a really exciting opportunity for any of the picks that they take in the first round. Lynn Dunn, as a championship coach in the WNBA, has always been about the defensive end. She likes to play small, so you can expect to see those gritty, relentless players, much like we saw in their 2012 championship team in this first round. Indiana was last in the league a season ago. They were last in defensive rating. They were last in three-point shooting. But if I'm a first-round pick, I'm going to be really excited about going to it, it to Indiana because
because not only do you have an opportunity to make the team, you have an opportunity to play a lot and contribute to the team. Do you have a high motor? Are you relentlessly competitive? Are you disciplined? Are you smart? You know, can you remember the plays? It's just like anything else. You know, when you go into a situation, your preparation is key. And I think when you're, when you're prepared, when you've done your work, um, you're confident. The Indiana Fever selects Alyssa Smith. And Alyssa Smith, Baylor University. Well, Alyssa Smith, such an incredible career at Baylor, and she becomes the second pick of the 2022 WNBA draft. She'll be at the foundation of what Indiana hopes is a quick rebuild. Like, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I mean, it was a blessing. No matter what number I got picked, I knew it was an opportunity for me to grow. The high energy, 6'4", uh, forward that can play center, uh, played at Baylor. I think Nalissa is one of those players in my mind that's not only gonna make a team, she's gonna make an impact. Hey man, I'm coming in hungry. I can't wait to come to this program and make a big difference. We still slept on, let's get it. With the fourth pick, the Indiana Fever selects Emily Angsler. Well, we saw the impact of Emily Angsler in the semifinal when she was on and off the floor. Love her energy. Love how hard she plays. Love how she rebounds out of her area. Highly competitive, high motor, a lot of things I like. I'm, I'm getting a little emotional, I'm sorry. Um, it's been a really long journey. So, I love them and they've always been there for me. Welcome to Indiana. Number four. Uh, I'm so excited, Coach. Hey, first off, flyest outfit in New York. <laughs> flyest outfit in New York. I love the black and white with the gold. Just come in, do what you do. We love what you do. Shooting the ball, guarding, defending, being tough nose, bring that. We need that, we love it. Hey, I just wanted to tell you, it was such a pleasure to see that smile on your face. And also the genuine tears once you got, yeah. you know, drafted. I tried hard. Yeah. <laughs> With the sixth pick in the 2022 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Lexi Hall, Stanford University. She is selected by Indiana after an outstanding senior season. And when the sixth pick came, people started looking at the TV, but no one was really watching. And then we heard Stanford guard Lexi Hole, and everyone started screaming, jumping up and down. My jaw like dropped. Um, I started like shaking. I was just in shock. Really like her. She's another player with a high motor. Six one, six two. Can knock down threes. Can get to the rim. Defends. But pr pretty much a total package. Lexi! Hey! Thank you! I'm so excited! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, we're so happy for you and thrilled that you're going to be joining us. Yeah, it's great. It's great. You come in here and do your thing, girl. We're so excited to have you. So excited that, that you have that, bringing that defensive energy, that excitement to the game. And let's get it rolling. Okay, this is your night to celebrate, and uh, we're really excited for you and for your family, and uh, just can't wait to get you here. It's gonna turn around quick. And we are also ready now for the 20th pick of the draft, and for that, we will send things back to the podium and to Kathy Engelberg. With the 20th pick, in the 2022 WNBA Draft, the Indiana Fever select Destiny Henderson, University of South Carolina. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, that's a good thing! Yeah, yeah. 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 baby! Yeah, baby! You knew that she could run a team and get everyone where they needed to be at the point guard position, but really showed that she could score the basketball in the NCAA championship game. This is a player that has game-changing speed. Um, she has a motor, can get up and down the floor. She can pressure the ball 94 feet if WNBA coaches want her to do that. But just a high basketball IQ. Wow, Destiny Henderson just had a fantastic um, season and part of that championship team um, at, at South Carolina, uh, their point guard, shooting 39% from the three-point line. 
Um, quickest, quickest player, I would say, in the draft. And then hear my name call was, you know, uh, a dream that something that I've always dreamed about since I was little. So um, to finally, you know, live up to that moment was awesome. Yeah, I think our singular focus is to bring in people who will compete at the highest level every single day and who have a chance to help us be better, to be an improved team that is pushing to be in the playoffs and beyond. You know, we went after what we think are champions. You know, most of the players that we played, they won their conference championship. Uh, they challenged, uh, you know, for an NCAA championship. Uh, Hull's got a championship. Destiny Henderson's got a championship. Uh, you know, Inksler was in the Final Four. So, you know, we tried to sign players at that level. I thought overall it was a great night for us. Rebuilding this Fever franchise uh, team um, back to um, a, a place where we are not only in the playoffs, but we're challenging for championships. And I know it's going to take time. But this is the beginning of doing that, two, four, six, and 10.